Hello, I'm Doug DeWitt, Transfer Paper Product Manager here at Condi Systems, welcoming you to another tutorial video in our series regarding the Forever Low Temp Laser Dark Heat Transfer Paper. Now, in case you don't know what that is, this is a two-step transfer paper that we use through the Oki White Toner Printers in order to generate a white and color graphic, have it self-weed, and be able to apply it to a dark garment of any material content meaning we can go to 100% cotton, a cotton polyester blend, or 100% polyester. Now what you may not realize regarding this product is that Forever has created two oversized sheets to maximize the print capability of both the C711WT and the Oki C920WT. Now those sheets, this one here, which is eight and a half inches by 17 inches long, to maximize the output capacity of an Oki C711WT. And this sheet here, which is 12 and a half inches by 19 inches to maximize the capability of the Oki C920WT. Now, setting up these papers to print with these units takes a little bit of work, which is what we're gonna to demonstrate today. What we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to our computer so we can show you how to set the paper size not only through the Oki driver, but also through the Forever Transfer Rip if you happen to be using that product to set up your artwork. So we're gonna show you all the steps involved so that you can use these oversized sheets successfully inside of your printer. So let's go ahead and get started by moving over to the computer so that we can show you how to set up your graphic software and the driver to be able to run these oversized sheets. So, here I am at my computer. I'm using Corel Draw X7, and we're going to demonstrate how to set up an 8.5 inch by 17 inch sheet for printing through the Oki C711WT. Now, remember, this is in relation to the Forever Low Temp Laser Dark, which is the only transfer paper we offer cut to this 8.5 inch by 17 inch size. So, the first thing I'm going to do is zoom out slightly so I can take my artwork and move it off of my worksheet. There we go. Now what I want to do is change the worksheet size or the canvas size and in Corel I can do that right here by using this down arrow to start reducing the size of my work area. We're going to keep going down so we get to an eight and a half inch. There we go. So now I have an eight and a half inch by 17 inch sheet in landscape format. Now what I'm going to do, and this is a little trick that I employ, I'm going to grab my rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a box and I'm going to set the size of that box at 16.5 inches across by 8 inches high. And what I'm doing here is I'm giving myself a 1 quarter inch margin around the sheet to make sure that my graphic fits within that margin. So when I take this printed sheet and I go to weed it and I lay the weed sheet over the print sheet, I know that it's going to cover the entire graphic. So let me make sure that my outline box is centered and I'm going to turn it a different color so we can differentiate it. Now we can go ahead and take our graphic and place it onto our sheet. Now give me an opportunity to zoom in. And as you can see the graphic in its current format is not going to fit on this eight and a half inch by 17 inch sheet. So give me one quick second here. So I can go ahead and manipulate my graphic. And now I have my graphic set up on this eight and a half inch by 17 inch sheet. I am going to click on my border box and remove it because I don't need it anymore. I'm going to select the graphic and mirror or reverse the graphic while I'm in Corel Draw. Understand that this can be done through the Oki driver itself, but I'm going to go ahead and perform this step now. 
So now that we have our artwork ready, let's figure out how to set up the printer to print this 8.5 inch by 17 inch sheet. The first thing we're going to do is go to File, Print, so that our print menu comes up. Let me select the Oki 711 WT as my printer, and now we're going to click on the Preferences button so we can access the properties of the driver. With the 711 WT driver, we should have four tabs, Layout, Paper Quality, Job Options, and Color. We're going to start with the Layout tab so that when it comes to our orientation, we can select either Portrait or Landscape. Since I have my artwork in a landscape format, let me go ahead and select this option, landscape option, for my print. Now let's go to the paper quality tab. Here we want to make sure that our paper source is the multi-purpose tray. Whenever we are running Forever Low Temp Laser Dark through our white toner printer, we want to run from the multi-purpose tray. Now let's click on the advanced button here to access the postscript settings. Here is the important setting. When it comes to page size, it may normally default to letter, but we want to click on our pull down menu and we want to go all the way down to Postscript Custom Page Size. You'll notice here it pops up a dialog box. So at this point what we want to do is go ahead and set up our sheet size. The first thing you might notice here is the unit of measurement. Let's go ahead and make sure that inches is selected as our unit of measurement. Now what we want to do is enter the width and length of our sheet. Our width is going to be an eight and a half inch width, just like a letter size sheet. But as far as the height is concerned, we can now change this number to 17 inches. Another thing we need to consider is the paper feed direction. Whenever you are using this option for PostScript custom page size, what we always want to make sure is that we have short edge first selected as our paper feed designation. So when you're running this 8.5 inch by 17 inch sheet, you're going to load the 8.5 inch side into your multi-purpose tray. Remember, the paper loads frosted side up, glossy side down. When it comes to paper type, make sure that you have cut sheet selected. But when we click OK, we are now commanding the printer to use an 8.5 inch by 17 inch sheet. So let's go through the other driver settings needed to print to this sheet successfully. My suggestions are, when it comes to the image color management method, make sure that that is handled by the printer. When it comes to your image color management intent, use your option of graphic or picture depending on the output. Since this is a line art image, I want to select graphic. Make sure your media check is set to off Make sure your media type is set to films when you're printing forever low temp laser dark and make sure that your tray switch is turned off and click OK to save these settings. Now let's go to the job options tab. Under job options when we're using a self weeding transfer paper we want to make sure that we have fine detailed quality selected. This is the 600 by 1200 DPI imaging. You'll notice right here is the option to mirror or reverse the print. So we can do it in the driver or in the software. Since I've already mirrored my graphic in the software, I'm going to leave this unchecked. Now let's move to the color tab. Here on the color tab, we want to make sure that we have color print selected. And if we have white within the graphic, or if we're going to a dark garment, we want to make sure that our white toner is turned on. But once we've made these adjustments, we can apply, click OK. So now we're printing to forever low temp laser dark through our Oki C711WT. Now that we've demonstrated this, let's work on the 12 and a half inch by 19 inch sheet, which is the maximum sheet size for an Oki C920WT. Now we're back at my computer 
what we're going to do is set up this file to print to a 12 and a half inch by 19 inch cut sheet, which is again offered by Forever in the low temp laser dark and is only compatible with the Oki C920WT printer. So let's run through the technique one more time. Give me an opportunity to zoom out slightly. I'm going to grab my graphic, move it off of my work area. There we go. And now I'm going to go ahead and change my worksheet or canvas. So when it comes to the width, I'm going to set this by using the up arrow. And we're going to increase that width to 19 inches. Now, let's increase the width to 12 and a half. And as you can see, as we mess with these settings here, it changes the sheet size of our work area. So now let's go ahead, select our graphic, place our graphic in the center. Again, I'm going to use the trick of taking the rectangle tool, drawing an outline box, like so, and then setting that with a quarter inch margin on either side. So in this case, what I will have is 18.5 across and 12 inches high. There we go. Let's make sure that is centered and let's give it a different color so that we can see it. Now we can zoom in like so. And now I can go ahead and start sizing my graphic for this 12 and a half inch by 19 inch forever low temp sheet. Grab that one node, bring it to the edge. There we go. So now we have our graphics set up for the 12 and a half inch by 19 inch cut sheet. Let me select my border box and delete it. I will select my graphic and mirror or reverse within the Corel Draw software. And now this file is ready to print to an Oki C920WT. So let's go File, Print, and let's select our Oki Pro 920WT as our destination printer. Let's click on Preferences to access the driver. Just like the driver for the 711WT, we should have four tabs. Layout, paper quality, job options, and color. Let's go to the layout tab because we have to change our orientation from portrait to landscape for this particular print. Now let's go to the paper quality tab. Let's change our paper source from automatically select, which is looking in the cassette tray, to multi-purpose tray. Remember, we always want to run transfer paper from the multi-purpose tray. Let's click on the advanced button to access the PostScript settings. And now when it comes to paper size, we want to employ the same trick that we did with the 711WT unit. We want to click on our pull down menu Go to Postscript, Custom Page Size. Make sure that our unit of measurement is selected as inches. And now let's change this width to 12.5 inches. And let's change the height to 19. And again, as far as the paper feed direction, we want to make sure that short edge first is selected. So when we take this sheet and we put it into the multi-purpose tray of our 920WT, we want the 12 and a half inch side in the tray first. We want to load the material frosted side up 
glossy side down. Make sure your paper type is selected as cut sheet and then click OK and you have locked in that change. So let's go through the other changes. Let's make sure that our image color management method is handled by the printer. Let's change our intent to a graphic since this is a line art graphic. Let's make sure that our media check is turned off. For our media type, we want to select transparency. When it comes to the tray switch, let's make sure tray switch is selected to off. Let's click OK to save these changes, then move to the job options tab. Again, when we're printing to a self-weeding paper, we want to select fine detail as our quality, 600 by 1200 DPI printing. Now, as far as the output bin is concerned, we want to make sure that we output stacker face up, which means you're going to open the back exit tray on your 920WT so that the film can run straight in and straight out. You'll notice here that my mirror print option is selected, but I am going to uncheck this since I've already mirrored or reversed the graphic in my software. Let's go to the color tab, make sure that color print is selected, and make sure that our white toner is turned on. So now we are all set to print to this 12 and a half inch by 19 inch sheet. Now if you happen to have the forever transfer rip, let me show you how to set that up so that you can print to these oversized sheets with the forever transfer rip. Since we're still in Corel Draw X7, what we want to do is set up this artwork to use with the forever transfer rip. Now a few things that we have to remember. The rip has a little bit of difficulty working with a landscape orientation. So the first thing I want to do is change this from landscape to portrait. So let me go up here and select portrait orientation. Let me grab my artwork, rotate at 90 degrees. Now also remember, we do not want to mirror or reverse the graphic. The forever transfer rip will take care of that. But what we want to do is save this file into a format that can be read by the forever transfer rip. The transfer rip will recognize an EPS, PSD, PDF, TIFF, or JPEG format. One nice thing about Corel Draw is we can click File, Publish to PDF, and create a PDF version of this file. So let me go ahead, save this graphic as a PDF. Okay, so now that we have a PDF copy of our graphic, we can now import it into the forever transfer rip. So let me minimize Corel Draw, and here you'll notice I have the forever transfer rip in front of me. Let's go ahead and set our profile for the rip. And now we can go ahead and load this PDF document. Now before we load the document, pay attention. Down here where we set the media weight, if we click on the pull down menu, you'll notice that the option for what they call letter XL or eight and a half inch by 17 inch and what they call tabloid XL, 12 and a half inch by 19 inch is already loaded into the forever transfer rip. So if you have the forever transfer rip, these sizes are already designated. But what we want to do is select our designated size before we load the file into the rip. So now that we have the size changed to 12 and a half inch by 19 inch, we can go ahead and click on load file. I'm going to look on my desktop, which is hopefully where I have saved this file. And there it is my Condi 25th anniversary 12 by 19. Let me open and now the rip will begin loading the file in. Now once this file is loaded by selecting tabloid XL right here it means that we are now defaulting the forever transfer rip to print to a 12 and a half inch by 19 inch sheet so that we can run it through the Oki C920WT. So remember 
the eight and a half inch by 17 inch sheet is to maximize the output on an Oki C711WT. The 12 and a half inch by 19 inch sheet is to maximize the output on the C920WT. So there is my graphic there, set up for a 12 and a half inch by 19 inch sheet. I can go ahead and click on my graphic and load it into the RIP. It'll take just a second here. But once the job loads into the RIP, it should move me over to the next screen. Now on the next screen in the RIP is where we can change settings such as the saturation, the hue, the contrast, and the brightness. And we can also control our color channels, our cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. There we go. So as we can see here, it's preparing a page preview screen. There's my graphic. Here are all my controls for brightness, contrast, saturation, hue, and my individual color controls for cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Now assuming everything is correct, I'll click on next so that I can set the white channel. Now, if I'm going on to a lighter color fabric, I want to set the white channel at 150% coverage. If I'm going on to a dark garment, I want to set the white channel at 200% coverage. We do not want to exceed 200% coverage. But now that we've manipulated the white channel, we can click Next, make sure that our Oki Pro 920 WT is selected as our designation printer, make sure that we are set up to mirror horizontal, and then at that point we can employ the features of the RIP such as using the micro mask, Make sure the media type is set to transparency because remember we are printing to a film sheet. But once we've made all these settings, we can go ahead and print and print to our 12 and a half inch by 19 inch sheet through the forever transfer rip. So now let's quickly summarize what we've learned in today's video. So now let's quickly cover the points that we've learned in this video on how to print to oversized forever low temp laser dart for your Oki white toner printers. The first thing you're going to need to know how to do is adjust your canvas or worksheet size in your graphic software. But as you can see from our demonstration, that's a pretty easy process. The next thing that you want to consider is to give yourself about a one quarter inch border around your workspace area so that when you're weeding this, you'll be able to cover all the content you need to with the B sheet over the A foil. Beyond that, what you need to know is if you're working through the Oki driver itself, the magic setting is going to media size and selecting postscript custom page size. Go ahead and plug in the width and length dimensions of your sheet and make sure that you're running short edge first. Now if you happen to have the forever transfer rip and you're using that to output, remember to go ahead and set up your graphic as far as the sizing and the orientation, save it in a format that can be recognized by the rip, then import into the rip and make sure that before you import, you select your sheet size, either letter XL if you're printing to the eight and a half inch by 17 inch sheet for a 711 WT, or tabloid XL if you're printing to the 12 and a half inch by 19 inch sheet to run through a 920 WT. I hope you found this video useful in regard to how to set up an oversized sheet to print through the Oki White Toner printers. However, should you have any questions or need any additional information, don't hesitate to contact us direct at 1-800-826-6332 or you can visit our website for more information. That's www.condi.com. And make sure to continue to tune in to Condi TV for more instructional videos regarding these transfer papers and the white toner systems. Until next time, I'm Doug DeWitt, your transfer paper product manager here at Condi Systems. My time is up and I thank you for yours.